Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Yeah, we're in a good mood today. Um, it is what it is, guys. It's dumb, but it is what it is. <laughs> if you get to see my videos, awesome, awesome sauce, just uh, hit that like, subscribe button so I know you're even there because I don't know that my videos are even getting seen at this point. It happens when you call people out. Um, this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope everybody's doing awesome. And let's get right into it. Could be dealing with Aquarius or Libra, Libra heavy. <clears throat> but what is coming towards you? <laughs> um, who did you make mad? Is this is somebody who's mad at you? Could be an Aquarius, could be a Libra. They are mad at you, and they're coming to pick a fight. 55. Um, we have Aquarius here, an Empress. Now, this could be you, this could be them. Take it how it resonates. That waited a long time for you to show up. Or for them, you waited for them to show up. Either way. A lot of waiting going on here. Disappointment. Conflict. Jealousy. Competition. Gossip. You name it, it's going on here. But this person's coming towards you. This is what's coming towards you. Alright? Slow and steady. This is what's coming towards you. You're about to get a message from this person. I think they know they screwed up. I think they know they screwed up big time. I think they got back some karma. And now their whole life is changing. Because of what they did to you. This is a, a classic story of what goes around comes around kind of energy. Whatever they did to you, Taurus, they're getting that back and then some. Somebody is definitely spreading rumors here, possibly about you. I'm seeing that, and I don't have the Page of Cups here, but I feel like this person is telling people you have a mental illness. That's what's wrong with you. What's their next move, Spirit? Again, we have the Four of Pentacles. They are not letting this go, Taurus. They are coming back. They have made a choice. You're, you're about to get a message. I told you that before. You're about to get a message from this person. That they choose you now over a third party. This person has money. This person has a lot of money. Could be a Virgo. Virgo. Got Libra heavy already. But this is justice in a situation. They're coming back. They chose you over a, a third person. Like I said, they got money. They got a lot of money. They're in really good shape financially. And they're trying to manifest you back into their life. They want you back. Let's see where this is going. 
Where is this going, spirit? How does Taurus feel about this? Taurus, you feel like it's a trap, a marriage trap. Even if this person's well off, the truth here is stranger than fiction. And, and the, the truth here is this person is trying to run from another one into your arms. Good deal with Scorpio or Capricorn. This one is leaving something that they feel like got too heavy. So they cut it off and they were cold. Or maybe you cut them off and you were cold to them because they married somebody else. Or they went and had a relationship with someone else. But there's definitely somebody who cut the other one off here. Ten of Wands tells me they did it because it got to be too much. It just got to be too much. It was toxic. You made the judgment to do you, Taurus. And your wish is granted. You got away from the toxic cycle there. Now, um, it's time to not rush into anything. Okay? Because you got your... I feel like, I feel like you dodged a bullet here. Okay? You seriously dodged a bullet. You might want to stay that way. I don't know. We'll find out the future of this energy. What is the future of this energy spirit? If it was toxic before, don't expect a different outcome with the same person. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Heads up, Taurus. Could be dealing with a Pisces. We've got a brand new understanding and clarity and truth. This person is trying to hang on to you with everything they got. And all you want to do is let them go because of the betrayal that they did to you. I think that's harder than said in this case. I got 4-4 four, four and the Ten of Swords here. I think you're trying to let go of the betrayal altogether, not just the person. And they're trying everything they can to hold on to you because now they see things crystal clear. But I think what's done is done with Seven of Pentacles as the final outcome. I mean, as the ending for the future energy. We'll do a final outcome. But. I feel like, like I said, what's done is done here. You've enlightened yourself. You've seen the truth. You've got a brand new understanding about what this is. And this person won't take no for an answer. I got 444 four, four here. So you may end up letting go of the betrayal in the past. You may be letting those swords fall out of your back. And reaping the rewards of your manifestation with this person. I don't know. Take it out. Resonates. I think you're enjoying it. You're enjoying watching them come back and beg you for attention. Pretty much. They know what they did to you. And it was wrong. Like I said, what goes around comes around. That is that is the theme of this reading. Yeah. Liar, thief. Oh my God. Taurus. I don't care how attractive this person is. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Oh my gosh. 
Let me show you these cards. These cards never come out together, but they did this time. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. This is the final outcome. Lying, cheating, stealing, and humiliating you. You're going to find out they're still with the third party. It's going to come out. It's a secret right now. And you're going to choose to end it for a brand new beginning. Like I said, if you take this person back, if you do what you did, you'll get what you got. This person has not changed. Wow. It is still just as toxic as it was the time before. I don't care how much they try to charm you into thinking that it's not. It's the same thing. It's going to come back around, looping, until you say enough's enough, enough's enough. Or you take a brand new beginning with them. I don't know, with seven of swords, five of swords, and eight of cups there, I'm feeling like somebody's lying to somebody, regardless if it's you or the other person. Somebody's definitely lying and, and stealing. I feel like there's thievery going on here. Maybe this person has money because of a relationship. Toil and labor. Unexpected money from the main male and the community. A gift from the community. Message of concern. So, Virgo, this could be you, this could be them, but somebody just got a whole lot of unexpected income. Somebody who has a name and recognition in the community. They're about to bring you a gift and a message of concern. And I'm feeling like they're gonna come to you and say, oh, well, I know this was wrong and, and, and I know that these people are really doing you dirty, but they're really the ones doing it. Does that make sense? It's like somebody comes in, they've got money, they've got a, you know, they've got something to give you. And, but they're giving to other people as well, another person at least. And they're telling you that, say you have a business and you have the sign out front. And the sign, you know, says welcome. And somebody paints over and puts F off. And then they come back later to get in your good graces and act like somebody else did it. Yeah. That's how I'm feeling that. Yeah. So, tricky, tricky. Watch this manipulator. Master manipulator. This is a master. This is not somebody who, who just does this every once in a while. This is somebody who does this for a living. Tricky, tricky. Oh, gosh. Union. Wedding. Soul connection. Eternal love. Everlasting promise. This is your twin flame, Taurus. It's, this is the most difficult relationship to ever be in. 
and whoever is this person, they are definitely mirroring you. Somebody's definitely a master manipulator here. There's happiness, expansion, joy, and enjoying each other. Heart with the keys, welcoming love, meeting the one. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, and third party interference. Twin flames, yin yang, balance, union, dual, du duality, coupling, and complementing each other. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and the dragonfly. Things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. So, this person hasn't changed. I, I, I know that you probably may be in love with this person. But no matter what, this person has not changed at all. They're hooking up with whoever they want to hook up with, even if they're with you. They are your twin flame. They see you as stable. Something that will last for long term. Are you going to adapt, change, and heal? Or are you going to get back on that wheel of karma? The choice is yours. 1633 when I said that. Really. I mean, the choice is yours from here on out, Taurus. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You're going to have to dig deep. Go into that Virgo energy. Dig deep. Wow. So those are your messages. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Till then, stay safe, stay well. Bye-bye.